Hi guys, this is the first in a series that I'm calling What's Working? In this series I'm going to analyze uh, paintings, some old masters such as this one beautiful winterscape by Claude Monet, the magpie, perhaps some of my own pieces and maybe even some of your pieces and we're going to focus on what's working in them. Just really kind of dive in and analyze. I think we spend a lot of energy and, and time focusing on what's not working in our paintings and um, therefore not really um, taking the opportunity to build on what is working. Um, success hides a multitude of errors so we need to keep that in mind. And of course this painting doesn't have too many errors, widely considered one of um, Claude Monet's masterpieces and perhaps his finest winterscape. Um, this painting is owned by the Musée d'Orsay and I was fortunate enough to see it in person this year. Uh, it's one of the most, his most popular works in that museum. So uh, the magpie depicts a solitary black magpie here uh, on this um, gate and this wattle fence. Uh, wattle fence is this sort of um, uh, fence made of the, this sort of um, s these sticks and bits and pieces. Um, it, the sun is shining upon the freshly fallen snow creating these beautiful blue shadows and the gesture of the, the shadow of the gate and um, this, this wattle fence. So why is this so beautiful to us? Um, let's talk about the composition to begin with. So here here he's, he's pretty much given us a classic composition here. It, the, the painting is divided pretty much along the golden section here, right here, kind of right on the rule of thirds. We we'll talk about that being um, sometimes kind of an overused device, but here it is used by Claude Monet. He's given us this little magpie right here on this lovely gate um, right on the rule of thirds. So this fence line, sometimes a fence line, especially one that is as dense as this and it's got the snow, might be considered something that causes us to, uh, uh, as a barrier to uh, uh, having a journey of uh, the viewer going in on a journey throughout the, the painting. But of course he's given us this gate and so we have an avenue into the, the, the painting. And we've got this sort of little bit of mystery of this structure back here. We, we know it's back there. We're, we're going to go through the gate and discover this structure over here. It's kind of second read, but it's, uh, uh, it's, it's lovely. We have these, these bare, bare trees. Um, um, sort of uh, um, enfolding the composition, um, outlining the gate, and um, of course they 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 have this the, this lovely gesture. Uh, there's definitely um, this this thought to um, where these are placed, uh, and they're very soft and second read. We've got lots of atmosphere. Right here we have this bright glow of yellow um, that is just a little bit different in value and hue right here. Um, so this is sort of a, a little bit of a secondary area of interest. Um, the, the gate itself, the, 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 the um, slats of the gate, I appreciate very much that they're kind of a broken line um, telling us that there's snow on them kind of glistening. And same thing on the trees back here. We really get the sense that there's glistening snow on these branches. And of course the gesture of the of the shadow here that's just you know very lovely. And the, the dappled light here in the shadow um, gives us a little bit of an avenue beyond this fence. Um, so um, this painting, Monet painted um, many, many winter scenes, uh, 
but this is again widely considered probably his uh, his um, most most popular and his most um, um, his best his masterpiece in in a winterscape. And I I think I must agree. I this I love this painting, and it was very very thrilling to see it in person. Um, it's it has a lot of texture, and it's it's truly a masterpiece. Oh, we also want to mention we've, we've got some little footsteps here, just a suggestion right here. And this is also, you know, it's subtle, but it goes to our ability to reach into the composition. We, we, we have this avenue back here, even though we have the sentinel of the magpie sort of could could be thought of it as a stopper but you know take away this guy mm, would it be the same piece right you, you can't even imagine this painting without that magpie it's just perfect as it is okay so um, hopefully we'll be talking about lots more paintings and I hope this is helpful and I will talk to you guys soon